Hi, this is Quant Nomad. Welcome to my channel. In uh, this video, I will show you how you can create alerts for a strategy in trading you with trailing uh, stop loss. So here I have a very simple example of a strategy. So basically, I have only one uh, long signal when one moving average crosses another. So um, here also I have just this is just uh, um, one percent of our price represented in uh, min ticks. I need this for uh, my trailing stop loss. I have only one uh, strategy entry function, and I go long when uh, I have my long signal. And I have only one strategy exit function, and I have only trailing stop loss uh, set up. So because you can see, it's quite simple. Also, as you can see, I use trailing points to zero, so I don't have this trailing uh, stop loss activation level. So I have just basic uh, trailing stop loss of 5%. So question is how I can translate this to a study and how I can create alerts for the strategy. Problem is that I cannot use uh, strategy exit functions, so I need to compute all this uh, myself and um, I will show you now how you can do this. So let's go and do some basic stuff first. So I will rename this uh, strategy to study. Also, I will uh, delete all strategy related parameters of, um, of this function. Also, I will comment everything I don't need for now. So all uh, strategy related functions I will comment. And let's go and first we need to compute our uh, trailing stop loss level ourselves. So how can I do this? So I will first I will uh, define my trailing stop loss uh, variable to be zero. And after that, I will compute it. So it's quite easy to understand to uh, compute it. So um, if I have a long signal, I will set up this um, variable as um, our high level. Um, multiplied by a 95%. So this is basically like 5% below our like high level. This is what we expect from a trailing stop loss, of course. And um, in all other cases, I will uh, set this um, parameter, um, let's set this variable to a maximum of uh, of this high 95% of a high level have high, high price and also also like previous value of the same variable so as you can see for now it's quite simple uh, stuff so um, now let's go and plot some things just to understand if it works for us or not so we will plot my um, trailing level and um, I will use like delayed level uh, for this because like in uh, when we set up strategy exit function, uh, it starts to work. It, we set it up on close of, of the current bar and it starts to work only from the next bar. So I think it, it should work to offset it by one. Um, also, I will just put uh, like color red and let's save it and see if it works. Okay, so I'll edit the chart. And as you can see, like it seems to work. We have this, like, uh, we have the signals. Um, we have like a level of exit of the strategy is exactly on our kind of calculated stop loss. It's not like exactly the same because we, 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 we calculate this from kind of the open of the previous bar. And uh, so it's, it's a bit, bit more trickier, but I think like in, in average it should work pretty good. It's not exactly the same level, but um, it's, it's quite close. Uh, so now let's go and create, um, create signals. So I already have this long signal. So I need to create um, a trailing stop loss signal. So uh, I will do this as um, just low below um, trailing uh, stop loss. And um, so basically, this is how it is computed. I will now um, will output my both uh, signals on screen to see how it works. So um, long signal. Yep, I will, I will put just text for it. And um, the same for um, 
trailing stop loss signal. I will just put this here at trailing stop loss. So if we will plot it here. Okay, so it's it's an error here. Okay, I need to plot shape of that. So as you can see, we have quite a lot of trailing stop loss signals. One is correct, but every, everything else is not. So what we have to do is we need to go and uh, adjust these levels just to have uh, alert only once when position is open. To do that, we need to simulate our positions. So I will add a uh, position um, variable. I will set it to zero for now. And uh, if I have like a long signal, my position variable will be one. If it's um, if there is no signal, no, no position, my position variable will be zero. So it's quite simple. So I will create a position variable and I will define it. As, so if I have like long signal, my position will be one. If I have um, uh, my trailing stop loss uh, signal, it will be zero and um, it will be uh, like previous value in all other cases. So quite uh, basic. Now we need to go and edit all my uh, signals here. So first of all, I need to define that to have a long signal, I need um, um, my previous um, value of my uh, position variable should be uh, zero. And for um, my trailing stop loss signals to be true, I want my previous uh, position variable to be one. So basically to quit uh, from position to exit position, I need position to be there, of course. And also I will um, add up a bit to um, to my um, to my trailing stop loss com computings. So what I will do is that I will recompute my um, trailing stop loss position only if I'm kind of currently in position. And um, here in all other cases, I will just, um, I don't know, I will probably just use a previous value of my position uh, of my uh, trailing stop loss level. So um, it should work this way. So uh, what else? Um, so I think that's, that's it. Let's save it and see if it works. So as you can see, now we filtered out all uh, kind of all this uh, trailing stop loss um, all, all signals and we have only properly set up trading stop loss levels. So it seems uh, to work quite um, good. So the last thing you have to do here is just to create alert condition function, um, use it f like your long signal here and um, the same thing you, can, you have to do for your trailing stop loss signal. And I will put this trailing, trailing stop loss. Okay, just save it. And after that, you should be able to go to your alerts, create one, select your TSL. And here you see we have here two uh, alerts we just created so long and trailing stop loss. And with a trailing stop loss, go for once per bar. This uh, should work fine for, uh, for the strategy. So you should be able to enter positions to uh, the level close to what you see in your uh, strategy. So I think um, this kind of approach is pretty simple and really pretty simple to code, but sometimes you can have problems. So no, it's not exactly the same as you will uh, see that, you know, sometimes we have some problems, for example, like here. So what is happening here, for example, is that inside one bar, we kind of we update kind of new high for the four for for trailing stop loss and after that we cross this, this level at the same bar and this is where this um this um, alerts will work a bit differently because as you can see we will enter we will exit close our position at open of the next bar and not here so because you can see it's not exactly but it's quite simple to code and I think it can be quite useful for you. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.